It is heavy bench press day today. I'm 22 days out of competition. And let me tell you, I've got that itch. I am so keen for this. It's been a long time. Now my goal for comp, 255 kilograms on the bench press. Today's goal, 227 and a half kilos for a triple, 500 pounds. How did I go? Well, hang around and find out. Let's get it. Final warm up, we have 215 kilos on the bar. Come on now. And welcome back to your mum's favorite channel on YouTube, Cold Strength. Now, just quickly, before we start, today is obviously heavy fucking bench press. Just wanna say welcome to a whole bunch of new people that have subscribed. My last two videos finally uh, kicked off and uh, we're starting to get some recognition. So, thank you to everybody who has, uh, who has joined, who has supported. I hope you got something out of those bench videos. And uh, today is bench day, so it all works well. What is the plan for today? Man, I think I'm like three weeks out of competition. Uh, so we got two, two or three heavy sessions left. Today, the goal is heavy triples, right? Now, I did heavy triples maybe a month ago and we hit 220 kilos. Today, the goal is to beat that. So 225, that would be cool. Maybe a little heavier. I may do two sets and we'll see how you know, the body is feeling but we're handling pretty fucking heavy weights now. So, you know, it's, uh, it's always good to get in, get a big set done, and then get the back down work, which is the money in the bank. But if things feel really good, we may uh, go for two sets and maybe the second set will be a little heavier. Uh, now, we'll start with 70 as always, and we'll do 30 kilo jumps until 190. I think the last warm up, we'll sit around 210, 215 today. But as always, guys, technique focused you know for warm-ups we're always applying good technique all the things i've been speaking about you know that's what i'm focusing on early in my warm-ups and i would probably address a couple of things today as well because you had some questions uh, after that video so there's a couple little things you know regarding the technique and some nuances that i'll also you know share with you today so hopefully make things even clearer we'll start with 70 though I've already done one set with 70, did the empty barbell, and I've done my activations for my upper back, as always. And uh, now this is our first proper warm-up set. We're gonna say five reps, and I'm gonna pause all my warm-ups until about 190. Remember, today is my heavy bench press day. It's not my competition focus day, so pausing isn't the priority. Today is about moving heavy weight efficiently and effectively, and you know, increasing that top end strength. I would love to bench, as I said, 255 kilos in competition with a pause. That would be a PR in comp. So, hey, that would be a good start. And then we're gonna push on and uh, chase down that 600 pounds, I think, which is just over 270 kilos. It's enough fucking talking for now. Let's go, baby. Easy peasy, we'll, uh, we'll chuck 100 kilos on, and I'm gonna discuss the head position on a bench press. Some people are asking, should I lift my head or should I keep my head down? I will tell you. All right, so we have 100 kilos on the bar, but I'm gonna cover your head position on the bench press because again, a lot of people had this question. Now, the answer is very dependent, right? Ideally, you know, I think it would be great to keep your head on the bench. There's more contact points, right? But at the same time, for me, when I do that, I always tweak my neck because you essentially push your head back into the bench. And every single fucking time I do it, I can't turn my head for a few days. So that's not at all practical for me, all right? Now, some people also, I guess, struggle with mobility. So they find it hard to keep their head back and get the bar to their chest, okay? So if that's you and you quite simply can't do that or it really feels horrible 
it's okay to lift your head. The only federation I believe that you have to keep your head on the bench is in IPF, okay? There may be one or two others, but most federations, you're allowed to lift your head, all right? Just like you're allowed your heels off the ground. You know, but what I will say is, don't be excessive with it, because what can happen, right, if we've retracted and depressed our shoulder blades and our head's back, we bring the bar down. If we lift our head too much, we start to round through here and our shoulder blades come out of the pocket, right? So it's more of a proprioception thing. Keep your eyes on the barbell. Don't lift your head too far. So it's like eyes on the bar, head comes up a little bit. That's okay. As long as we can still retract and depress our scaps, you're gonna be fine. I hope that clears it up for you. I'm gonna do 100 kilos now. Uh, we'll do four reps. Four reps with a little pause. Nice and snappy again. Yeah. And I keep my, my routine, my setup the same every time, whether it's a warm up or a top set, it always stays the same. Easy peasy, just as it should be, like your mama. <coughs> if you're new to the channel, I talk about your mama a lot. It's not personal. I think she's a great girl, so don't take offense to it. 130 next. All right, guys, 130 on the bar. And uh, just quickly again, had a lot of people asking about, do I sell programs for bench press? I sell programs for all different things, right? I do have a bench specific program available. It's called the Barbarian Unholy Book of Bench Press. And it is a very, very difficult yet rewarding program, okay? I even uh, did a bench press series where I trained that entire program and filmed it. Check the playlist, you'll see it, right? Now, I am releasing a three lift program very soon, as well as more squat bench and deadlift programs. So they'll be available in the next month or so, but the Barbarian program is available now and absolutely guarantee you results. So yeah, but when you go to my website, coltstrength.com, please be sure to not buy the merchandise that's on there. There is none in stock, but I will be doing more very soon. But yeah, the programs are all available. So coltstrength.com, get yours and guarantee it'll help. But right now, 1.30, baby. I'll get Jakey to hand out for me. I'll just go uh, two reps, two reps. That's an easy baby. Whew. Let's go. It took you out, mate. Almost. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, boy. You fucking dick took my head off. Nice. Boys hanging meat. 160 next. Let's go. All right, gang, we have 160 on the bar now, right? Now this is kind of the point for me on the bench session where my attitude will change, um, you know, in regards to how I'm executing things here. So warm-ups, early warm-ups, technique focused, quite relaxed in a sense, right? Now, as we start hitting singles, I'll hit a single here and a single at 190 and a single at 210 to 215, right? They're my last three warm-ups. But now this is where you got to start bringing the heat. You got to bring the intent, right? For me, I like to move the bar as fast as I fucking can. Okay, whether it's a deadlift, a bench, or a squat. Obviously, whilst using good technique, but for me, the confidence that moving heavy weights fast gives me is priceless. So when I'm warming up and things are fucking flying, I know I'm in for a good day. Therefore, my confidence is very high for my top sets. Therefore, much more successful. All right, so, when you're warming up, you do have to switch on. You can't just go through warm-ups aimlessly, all right? You gotta be switched on mentally and prepared to work, okay? Because your top set is fucking work. And if you're not ready to go, it's gonna fuck you. All right, Jakey boy. 
Let's turn it on, baby. One rep now. Come on. Tuck your dick back, would you, mate? Stay serious, Jake. Trying to fucking get real here, mate. All right. Let's get it. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that? Did you see that? I didn't see that. 190 on the bar now. We're gonna uh, we're gonna smoke this shit. I've got big tea coming to hand out for me now. Big thank you to Jake for uh, smacking me around the head with your meat several times. Appreciate it, mate. Now it's your turn. Can't wait. What a day. Jesus Christ. Um, but also, guys, you know, I did say thank you to everybody who has subscribed recently, but also a big thank you to everyone who continues to watch my stuff and you know engage with me comment if you've been following for a while now you would know i do my very best to reply to every fucking comment the last few days there's been literally hundreds each day so i'm doing my best um so if you ever want to say anything ask anything please drop a comment and as i said i'll do my best but now we've got 190 baby hitting the single second last warm-up let's go little pause yeah. little pause on this one Oh yeah, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna slide further back than normal. Let's go. Easy fucking work, bro. Let's go. Yeah, boy. Easy, Thank you. Easy peasy. We'll do. So I reckon we'll go to 215 for the final warm-up. That'll be touch and go. Uh, same as my top set. So we'll smoke that next. Let's go. Alright baby. Final warm-up. We have 215 kilos on the bar. And as always, as I always fucking say, you gotta earn the top set. You gotta earn the right. So we've got to make this fucking move and move it will. This will just be touch and go now. We're moving this as fast as we fucking can. As close to an empty bar as possible. All right, baby. Whew. Easy. Go, sir, come on. Come on. Come on now. Oh, yeah. Uh, Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah, boy. Oh, dangerous. I feel sexy. I feel sexy. I might take some uh, photos of myself naked later. Let's go, baby. All right, baby. Last warm up fucking flew. So. What I've done is I'm gonna go straight to 227 and a half kilos, which is 501 pounds. That was, uh, you know, that was my goal. If I was gonna do the second set, I was gonna do the first set a little lighter, but that fucking moved. There's no need to fucking waste energy right now. I'm gonna to commit to this and execute three fucking reps. We're gonna fucking move these, baby. It's just some serious weight now. Oh yeah. Getting close to comp, baby. I can feel it. It's been a long time. I'm fucking excited. I'm real excited, baby. I live for this shit. But now, we've got some fucking work to do. Come on! 500, baby. Whew. Three, baby. Come on! Three, baby. Three fucking reps! Let's go! Let's go! All day, motherfucker. Come on now. Find the spot and stay. Ah! Come on! Come on! Yeah. Yeah. Change the fucking thing, yeah. Let's go. Ooh. Make fucking tight, Reese. <laughs> Game time. Let's go, keep it in! Keep it in, it's there! 
Towards the rack, towards the rack. Lock it, lock it, lock it. Yeah. yeah. Woo. <laughs> it's tough. You know what though? I'm gonna do it again because I can make it better than that. That was a little bit sloppy. That was a little sloppy, but I'm gonna do it again. And fuck it, we'll go 230. All right, baby. So first set, 501 pounds. Uh, you know, three reps, we've got it done but you have to have high standards and I believe that I can do much, much better than that. You know, my technique was a little bit off and you know, it, it becomes apparent when you're lifting heavy weights, right? This is the point where I need to refine it and make this move just a little bit better, right? We've got 230 kilos on the bar now. I added two and a half kilos and uh, yeah, the goal is to make it move even better than the fucking last one. I'm confident. You know, I know what I can adjust now. I know what I can do to make this feel better. You know, it's part of the process for me too. I'm not perfect, you know? I make mistakes when I lift. I learn, you know, I learn as I go as well. And then you got to apply these things. We can always improve and we can always learn. Come on. Come on. Three reps, baby. 230. Hey! Let's start this fucking clean, bro. Set the fucking time! Come on! Oh! Come on! Yeah! Yeah, this is it! Okay, nice. Come on, let's go! Here you go! Good! There you go! Good! Good! Back to guys! Back, 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 back! Take it, take it! Yeah. So fucking close. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Alright guys, so we're gonna use my failure as a perfect example, right? When technique breaks down, we're unsuccessful. Now it becomes harder to maintain good technique with heavy weights. And sometimes you need to handle weights to see the areas that you need to work on, right? So I'm gonna be smart, I'm not gonna do it again. Okay, now I got my first set you know, 227 and a half kilos for three reps. And I got it done. The last rep, a little bit eh, but strong enough to do that even on a day where it isn't perfect, right? So I've got myself to a point where a 500 pound triple can happen on an average day. So that's not bad. We have to take positives from the experience, but also we have to be our harshest critics and, you know, obviously analyze it and see where we can do better. Because if you want to be an elite powerlifter, if you want to have a huge bench, you have to be self-critical. You have to pick yourself to pieces because sometimes other people won't, right? You have to hold yourself to that standard. And it's always coming down to you. So what I'm going to do now is, you know, I've realized they're the things I need to work on. On that 230 kilo set, the first rep I touched slightly too low and it took me out of position. It made me have to work too hard. So on the third rep, I'm out of position and I couldn't lock it out. Even though they moved okay, right? The first two, the fact that I was out of position made it that much more difficult, right? So you know, hopefully you can see that. And this is a perfect example. I'm not gonna hide my loss from you. It is what it is. Now I'm gonna go and, you know, fix it. We gotta fix it. I'm gonna do some tempo work, 180 kilos, working on a good consistent bar path. Okay, plenty of time under tension. We're gonna slow it down. So next time I come back to handle heavy weights, I fucking destroy it. Because I know that I am capable of more than that. Again, we just gotta learn about what we need to apply to become better. Very easy. Hey, big dog. Yes, please, just doing some tempo work. Just doing our sets of five, guys. Slightly closer grip, not much. Let's go, son. Nice. Good. There's a two thousand, three thousand. Too low. Whew. And yeah, that's what it is, guys. That was a good set. 
I'm gonna do another set of that and uh, do it just as well. That way I can walk away from the session when I'm done going, yes, I got a win on my heavy set, I learned a lesson from my failure, and then I rectified it all and fixed it by doing some solid work that's gonna help. Back in a sec. All right, gang, we'll do one more set of tempo bench. Uh, the first set felt really nice. It's exactly what I need right now. I'm gonna finish that with a little bit of fun. I think we'll do a bit of an AMRAP. we we'll say 160 kilos. Yeah, I'm pretty fatigued, but you know, still have a crack. We'll see if we can get close to 20 reps. At least more than 15. One more unwrap, Big Dog. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, Big Dick, you're Big Dick. Let's finish it strong, bro. Let's finish it strong. Let's go. One thousand, two thousand, three. 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 Thank you, sir. Very good. I got one AM rep at 160 and we're done with bench. How many reps do you think I'm getting? Let me know in the comments. I'll let you in on a secret. My best is 20, but I probably wasn't this fatigued, but I don't know if I was this strong when I did that. So your guess is as good as mine. All right, gang, 160 kilos, AM rep final set of bench press. A little bit of fun and also a nice little uh, top up of some volume, which, uh, which won't hurt right now. <clears throat> As I said, I'd like minimum 15, 20 would be great. I am fatigued, so I have no real idea of how it's gonna feel. Figure it out after the first 10, I guess. All right, baby. Come on! <sighs> Let's go. Ooh. Um, at least 15. Keep fucking going. Well, on that fucking group. Get fucking uncomfortable. Eight. Go on. Two more. Go on. I kind of locked that last one out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Fatigue, man. The weight, it doesn't feel heavy at all. But holy shit. But it's a big session. There's a lot of heavy work there. A lot of fatigue. And I'm sitting in a good spot. I'll take a minute, we'll wrap it up. I'll talk to you about, you know, my plans for the next week of training and content. Let's go. And there's the fucking session done. That's all the bench press. So we got that triple at 501 pounds, 227 and a half kilos. Obviously I missed the triple at 230, you know, but then, you know, we took that, that loss, that failure, right? And we put that to work, do that back down stuff and we refined the problem, you know? So we identified that there was an issue, whatever that may be. I'm talking about myself. You may be in a similar, you know, circumstance where something's not quite working, something doesn't quite feel right, you've got to identify it, you've got to fix it, okay? You don't just go, oh, fuck it, it's a bad day, I'm gonna go home. No, why is it a bad day? Okay, I didn't feel weak today. Yes, I feel a little fatigued, that's normal, but my technique was a little bit off. And as I say, as you get stronger, you get punished for that more and more, okay? It becomes harder to get away with just muscling weight up. And that's the truth, but, what have I got coming up this week? We got our uh, deadlifts on Sunday, two days I think. We'll have some squats a couple days after that. And of course, again, more bench press. Now next week, I'm gonna be doing the squat version of how to increase your squat instantly. And yet again, you gotta witness magic. I am full of wisdom. I'm a wizard. Perhaps I kind of look like a hobo wizard on steroids. Something like that, hey? Let's go with that. Hey, wise, 
still, still was. But plenty of good stuff to come, as I said. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, drop a comment, and of course, let your mother know that I've posted a new video. She's not tech savvy, but she always appreciates it. Thank you. Go to the fucking gym.